When ordering a cup of coffee, whether hot or cold, a plastic carrier will be provided to hold the cup when taking it home or out of the restaurant. Use plastic bags for shopping, drinking bottles, plastic straws, and disposable coffee cups for morning coffee fixes. People always require plastic bags in their daily lives. Therefore, they have become an essential element of our culture. At the checkout, plastic bags are the most environmentally responsible choice. They are very recyclable and reusable, yet plastic pollution from plastic bags has a significant negative influence on the ecosystem. In the Philippines, 2.7 million tons of plastic waste are generated each year and an estimated 20% of this ends up in the ocean making the country among the largest contributors to marine plastic pollution in the world. Plastic waste is one of the most pressing environmental challenges on the planet. As a result of these effects, the general public, activists, and legislators have expressed outrage to the point where some national governments have prohibited the use of plastic bags. Confronted by this dilemma, the researcher came up with the idea of using banana stem waste fiber to make reusable handle cup carriers. Based on the latest research, according to Dole, nearly 15 million bananas are grown in the Philippines each year for consumers around the world, but the banana stems are left behind. While some of the stems are used to regenerate the soil they are grown in, more than 4.4 million banana stems are wasted Together, Dolly and Musa are aiming to upcycle this fruit waste from Dolly's banana plantations into fibers of purpose. Using these two materials, we can create a recyclable hobby cup carrier. The researcher aims to make use of banana stem waste. We look for waste banana stems and cut into pieces and use a hammer to release the fiber. Once the fiber is already visible, put it in a container filled with water. Get the fiber set aside. Put it inside the flat container. Put under sun for 48 hours to dry. For the handle, scrap a 20 inch of the banana stem until the fiber is visible. After the fiber board is dry and ready, we cut the dry fiber into two sections. Wrap it side by side with a reference cup to adjust the size. Using butcher's twine, stitch the fiber side by side based on the size. Now, our handle cup carrier using waste banana stems is ready to use. In conclusion, it is better to continue this project because the findings of this study will have a significant impact on our economy and the environment.